Hello and welcome to The Rage Project. My name is David Tavares and I'm a game designer at Occupational Hazard LLC and a long time role player of Werewolf the Apocalypse. What is The Rage Project you might ask? Um, you probably should be asking that because I haven't explained that to anybody yet. This is the very first project uh, that I've been working on with it. Um, please wait to the end of this video and I will give you a full description of what The Rage Project actually is. Uh, let's start off with this imagery. This is not Werewolf the Apocalypse. This is actually Werewolf by Night. Uh, if you haven't seen the Disney Plus show, I highly recommend it. It is phenomenal. Uh, but let's talk about Werewolf the Apocalypse. Uh, Paradox Interactive, World of Darkness, uh, has been having these, uh, updates on what's happening in the W5 5th edition of Werewolf the Apocalypse. Um, now there's been a lot of misinformation going around, uh, so let me spread some more misinformation. Uh, no, not really. Uh, mostly what I'm going to be talking about is my own opinion, or where I think things are going, um, just extrapolating and just conjecture based on what they've said so far. Uh, they being the uh, Renegade Games um, and War uh, World of Darkness uh, developers here that are making the game. Um, now, it's the 5th edition. Now, it's not actually the 5th edition, if I remember correctly. I think they skipped one there. Uh, they had the 20th anniversary edition of the entirety of the world of darkness i believe fifth edition is just what they're calling all books that are in line with the vampire fifth edition um i think this might technically be the fourth edition of werewolf but don't quote me on that um in fact i probably could have just looked that up on wikipedia go ahead if you're that interested um but it, it's got a long history is what i was trying to get at here wow that's a lot of words i'm not used to talking um but let's talk about one of the major changes we've got going on here, um, the tribes. Now, people really relate in Vampire the Masquerade to clans. They almost see it as uh, a personal identity or even like an, just like an archetype, like it's your, your sign that you were born, you know, like your horoscope, something like that. People, people relate to it. People like to roleplay the different aspects and the stereotypes. Um, so that's kind of what tribes are like. Um, except you're not necessarily born into a tribe. Now, in prior editions, you sort of were sometimes, but in this edition, you you have to be in, you know introduced and indoctrinated to a tribe. Uh, each tribe is a little bit different than in prior editions. Um, Justin Achille came out and said that this is going to be like a, a reboot, basically, uh, a reimagining, rather, I think it was actually the quote, of um, the world of darkness from the world of the apocalypse uh, uh game aspect now let, let's uh, go through each tribe so you can get an idea if you don't know uh what these tribes are um i i can try to uh color your idea of what they are based on my knowledge of world of the apocalypse in the past and what they've said so far and just my random conjecture um so let's start with the black fears they're right on top here um so in the past they had a different patron spirit um the patron spirit was pegasus um, Pegasus was a bit of a turf. What? Wait a second. What do, what do you mean, <laughs> David? You're, you're, you're talking about a fictional character. Um, so one of the big uh, controversies that with uh, Werewolf in the past was that the back Black Furies could only um, have women members. And they were very specific about what a woman was. And the game probably shouldn't making, be making those definitions. So I noticed that it's not Pegasus as the patron spirit anymore. Um, they used to call them totem spirits, but they're being more cultural sensitive, which I agree with. Patron spirit is just an easier thing to say anyway. Um, Gorgon. Now, I don't think this is Gorgon as in, like, Medusa and her sisters. I believe, I could be wrong here, I believe this is Gorgon, like the, the bull monster kind of Gorgon. Um, I'm happy to be wrong with that. I like both mythologies. Um, now, the Black Furies, previously mostly women. Um, they probably still are, because I'd imagine that this is going to be the, like, uh, civil rights activism tribe. This is who you want to be if, you, in Vampire, you always like to play the Bruja, Bruja, uh, depending on your pronunciation. Everything's pronounced differently in every edition, and depending who you talk to in World of Darkness. Um, so if you're a Bruja, you'll probably really like the Black Furies. They fight for Avenge, Overcome, Dismantle, Demolish. That's the system they're demolishing. Um, and notice that the, the renowns, 
attached to a tribe, that's different than prior editions as well. Um, in prior editions, uh, your renown was tied to your auspice, which is going to be on this next page. Um, but I'll get to that after I go through this list. Um, now let's talk about Bonars. I'd say that they are the closest to this general stereotype. I don't know if you can hear this. I have a siren going off right now. Is that someone like the ambulance is going through? Hopefully that doesn't pick up. I did try to make it so that my mic doesn't have that. Um, the Bonars, I'd say, are closest to like the Nosferatu if you played Vampire. Um, not that they're monstrous. All werewolves are kind of monstrous to humans when they turn into a giant wolf monster. Um, but the fact that they are um, with, you know, like the the lower class of people, um, homeless people, poor people, just loners, things like that. That's why they're the Bonars. They follow the patient spirit rat. They're not on bones, you know. Um, they they uh, lay low. They infiltrate Pilfer, eavesdrop, witness. Does that sound like a Nosferatu? Kind of, yeah. So if you notice, they kind of like line up these archetypes. Not perfectly, not exactly, but this was the second game developed after Vampire. So there's some things they noticed succeeded um, when they developed the game initially. And of course, they want to carry on that tradition. Um, Rat was always the patron spirit. I like that their renown is honor. So that's like a, you know, they have a code, you know, just because they're, you know, hanging around uh, the rats doesn't mean that uh, they, don't, they don't they don't have uh, a code to go by. Now, the children of Gaia, this is very interesting. So in the history of werewolf, um, there was a time where uh, werewolves hunted humans and there was like a big, basically a war. Now, children of Gaia, this tribe came about. Um, tribes can just come about. They're not necessarily um, uh, uh, like a, like a clan where it's like a descendant of. It's just a group of, group of werewolves that come together. Um, actually, let me explain this concept. I don't like to see werewolf as the werewolf game. Werewolf is you're a spirit creature. Well, you're half spirit creature. That's how you turn into a wolf. Um, if it was more of a werewolf game, like if someone told me to make a werewolf game, it would be nothing like Werewolf the Apocalypse. This is about spirits. It's, it's you see spirits, you interact with spirits, and the reason you turn into a giant wolf monster is because you're half wolf spirit. Um, that's like the, the crux of this. So if you're having a lot of trouble with a lot of the concepts in this game, um, think of it from that lens, and that's definitely helped me um, find this game um, acceptable. You'll, you'll get uh, acceptable as in um, something that starts to make sense once you start learning the lore and get the feel of it. And you're like, okay, I can drive with this. Yeah, okay, I got it. Um, so there's a lot of like uh, Lovecraftian themes with this game. Um, so don't think of it as uh, a lot of people would, would used to talk about it as if it was some sort of like uh, eco-terrorist game where you just do Toxic Avenger actions to fight uh, uh, corporations, that's not quite what you're doing. You're seeing it from a spiritual angle. This is like Lovecraftian horrors that you see and nobody else does. And they're just everywhere in their control, they're in our food, they're in the water, they're um, destroying nature itself. And people are like, they're just kind of gone trees, they're just gonna you know, like make paper out of it or something. It's like, no, they're being malicious. Um, there's actually spirits of harm hiding around every corner. So the children of Gaia, very in tune with these spirits of harm. They want to discover, discern, heal, puzzle out, figure out what's going on. Uh, that tribe was formed around making peace with humans and not just going to war. Humans don't really stand much of a chance against a bunch of werewolves, but over time, uh, werewolves cannot stand um, the attrition of their numbers dying out. Um, so it was actually very wise, and their renown is wisdom, uh, for them to have done that. Fianna, um, I always thought it was very interesting that they chose um, uh, uh, Fianna for, um, what was that latest game, um, Earthblood, um, uh, as the tribe uh, that they um, represented, because that seems like a very gruff, like, uh, I'm an angry man kind of character. Um, Kahal was his name, I believe. Um, and Fianna, uh, I feel this is a tribe that's not gruff. They're like... Um, they're into um, music. Uh, you notice there's reclaim, cultivate, nurture, protect. Um, he was definitely good with protect, but um, cultivate, nurture. I didn't see, hear a single song in all of Earthblood, and that's not Fianna. 
they would be singing, they'd be talking to fairies. Um, this is based on like Celtic myth. Um, they're like, yeah, he's Irish, so he's just gruff and angry. And I don't know, that's their interpretation. I would have had him singing and dancing and talking to fairies because that's what Fianna are. Uh, their patron uh, spirit of stag. Um, that's consistent. Uh, and they're all for the glory because they, they like to, you know, songs, tell tales, they're the bards, you know, uh, Gale Stalkers. People th are thinking this is a new tribe. It's not a new tribe. It's rewording, rebranding uh, the other tribe the, that previously had the patron spirit of the North Wind. Um, starts with a W. I heard you're not supposed to say it. So we'll play that game. I won't say it. Um, track, ambush, Harry. Oh, I forgot to say. Fianna, what, what kind of... Um, let me backtrack here for a second. I think the Fianna would be more like the um, Toreador. So you can see how Cajal being the Grand Angry guy doesn't really work in my mind. Because um, they're singing art, poetry, fairies. You can interpret however you will. You can play any of these tribes however you like. Um, but, you know, there's always stereotypes. You could play a Toreador and Vampire that hates art, who just likes math or something, you know. You're allowed to, but it's against type. Um, Gale Stalkers, I'd say they are the Bene Hakim. Uh, if you don't know who they are, the former Asimites of Vampire, uh, the Masquerade. Um, now, they don't turn invisible. Well, actually, they might. I'll have to double check their, their gifts. Um, but think of them as... Uh, you know, just like a storm, uh, you know, they, like you're chopping down trees because you're evil and malicious. Um, suddenly a storm and co covers you and you're like, oh, what's going on? I can't see. I think I said, where'd my guys go? You know, that kind of thing. And they stalk you down and they hunt you. Um, and they're just that, that monster that just leaves no trace. Uh, so yeah, that's why I think they're like the Beiru Kim. Um, Ghost Council. What? This is another new tribe. No, it's not. Um... Horn Serpent. Uh, I believe it was the, the... How do you pronounce this? The, um... Was it like Actena or something like that? Should have looked that up. Um, yeah, so that monster, or creature and myth, uh, was called the Horn Serpent. So the tribe by the same name needs a new name. They're the Ghost Council. I love the name. I love that uh, tribe. I think that's probably my second favorite tribe. If I was into being a tribe, the first one would be Glasswalkers, which next. The second one would be Ghost Council. They're really cool. They're mystical. They're magical. Probably closer to Hekata than they are to Tremere, just because they deal with, like, like really iffy stuff. But I guess Tremere deal with really iffy stuff, too. But, I mean, they're called the Ghost Council, so... Travel, solve, subvert, unearth. Um, Glasswalkers. Uh, oh. Ghost Council. Magic. Of course, it said Hakata. Tremere didn't say the M word. Magic. Um, glass walkers. These are the werewolves who lean on their human side. They are glass walkers because they go to cities. Used to be known. Um, uh, they had prior names like the Warriors of Men and things like that, I believe. I like Iron something. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting conf confused here with uh, World of the Forsaken, which is a very interesting adaptation of this game. Another type of reimagining of this in a, in a way, um, but also its own game. They have had a different change. Their name is the same, but they have a new patron spirit. Used to be Cockroach. It was weird swearing your fealty to Cockroach and saying, yes, yes, Cockroach. I mean, survivability for sure but uh spider sounds pretty cool and uh in werewolf the apocalypse there's uh three major aspects below gaia uh there's the wild the weaver the worm and spiders tend to be associated with weaver that's like the structure stasis technology sort of um versus the worm's destruction entropy and the wild's like creation random chaos um I know, there's so much lore here. I'd just be just throwing stuff at you if you're not familiar with this stuff. Red Talons, the direct opposite of the Glass Walkers. They lean to their wolf side. In fact, in the prior edition, they were not allowed to be uh, Hamid, which is born human. Um, I believe they got rid of breed in this edition. They're staying away from the breeding aspects of the game. It's more about being a werewolf and not about breeding a bunch of werewolves. Um, 
I mean, obviously you can include whatever you want in your own game, but, uh, uh, and I, and so the Red Talons were like, let's, uh, purge, purge the last, uh, descriptor there, ruin, ward, reduce, purge, let's get rid of the humans, that'll solve all our problems. And so a lot of the werewolves are like, we're all half human, we have kinfolk, uh, who have our blood, um, in society, we like humans, especially the Glasswalkers who are like, I like, I love humans, I'm in the city, you know? Children guy are like, uh, yeah, we made peace with them. What are you doing? Um, so that was a potential tribe that could have fallen. Actually, quite a few of these tribes could have fallen. <laughs> Wendigo, Ghost Council, uh, Black Furies could have fallen. Uh, these next Shadow Lords and Silver Fangs definitely could have fallen as well. Um, uh, fallen's not exactly a term. Um, it's it's uh, hog lost. Um, although I've heard it hog lost. I'll get to that in a second. Um, continuing on, Shadow Lords. These are the um, conniving folk. Oh, I haven't been giving my vampire uh, uh, equivalents. Um, glass walkers, I would say. What would glass walkers be? I don't know. You tell me, write in the comments who the glass walkers would be. Red Talons, Gangrel. Wait, aren't all werewolves the analogy for Gangrel? Yeah, kind of, but they're extra that way. Extra wild, extra wolves. Um, class walkers, uh, I don't know, okay, uh, there's no, like, tech clan, so I'll skip that one. Shadow Lords, though, obvious, La Sombra. Um, so they're the conniving, scheming, plotting, they want, they want power. However, in prior editions, they made it a point that they are not trying to, like, end the other werewolves. They're, they're, they just, that's just the way they are. They connive, they scheme, they're precise, they, they're patient, um, they're looking for the glory. They work for, uh, Grandfather Thunder, um, and they're kind of neat. They're kind of neat. I could definitely see playing a, a Shadow Lord, uh, uh, in the future. Uh, they like to intimidate, but I mean, what's your werewolf? Of course you're going to intimidate, right? Um, now the Silent Striders, I would say maybe like the Ravenos, because they, they travel a lot. That's like their thing. Um, generally wolves will like have a range um but silent striders just go beyond that often leave packs um don't necessarily uh keep a lot of strong bonds um except those that they do keep are super strong because they need that connection but they'll wander off and wander back um they're the silent striders who follow owl because they are into wisdom and there's the silver fangs. These are the venture types. They're the the, the leaders. Um, they they're uh, falcon. Um, in prior editions, they were uh, they were purebred until like it, problems were being caused and stuff like that. They kept people out of their organization. Um, I think they're they're going to get rid of that stuff I, uh, of like the restrictions. Even the red talon restriction, I think they're going to get rid of. I think you can be a human born because they said that uh, most werewolves are going to be human born. And so I'd imagine that Red Talons will um, allow that to happen. Um, uh, if as long as you're like dedicated to like, you know, sure, you're human born, but you can't turn into a wolf. So this is just my guess. I'll see when the book comes out. They can also change their mind. Um, now the Silver Fangs, though, they're like the leaders. They wanted to lead the Guru Nation. That's what they call the collective of all werewolves to fight the worm, who's the main antagonist of the game. Um, but how do you kill entropy? You can kill a bunch of people that work for it, but then you're just adding to the entropy, aren't you? There is no solution here. I mean, you can just be peaceful, but then the entropy just gets to go on. You know, it's, it's this psychological thing where if you have rage, you're going to rage even more the more you think about it, which, uh, werewolves get a lot of rage. That's their main power stat. Um... And so that's caused a division. You know, if people of uh, veterans of prior editions will notice there's some uh, missing from this list. Um, two to be exact. There's the Geta Fenris. People were very mad about that. They were like the Nordic group. Um, I would say they're a little redundant um, uh, with some of them, like um, obviously Black Furies and Red Talons are like into the fighting, that kind of thing. Um, and Fianna had the... Um, like the mythical bends to them 
they were kind of like a trajectory in between them all, but they were super aggressive about fighting, um, showing that they were the best, letting the weak die. And so when in the events of the game, the worm has theoretically won or is inevitably going to win um, because of this endless cycle of just violence, um, they just couldn't deal with it. And they're like, nope, we're going to be more violent and extra violent without violence, violence itself, basically. And so they've left because, yeah, these guys can't deal with them and they think that these guys are not worth, uh, you know, being called werewolves themselves. Now, on the exact opposite end of that, uh, there's a group that's even more peaceful than the like, Children of Gaia, um, who want to distance themselves from rage. I don't know how that's going to play out in this game. Um, so there's there's two sides. Um, there's Hoglosk, which definitely the like the entire tribe of Getafenris are in, where they're just like fighting and just like we're just gonna destroy it all, rage, endless rage. And then there's Hirano, which is full depression. I don't know if they're going to say this is a tribe of Hirano, um, or if they're just going to say that, because uh, like in prior editions, the, the Stargazers were thinking about leaving um, to join the Beast Courts, which are the non-werewolf lycanthropes. Um, so they'd be the one werewolf tribe that joins the the werecats, the were-spiders, the were-rats, the were-bears, the were etc. Fill in the blank of anything that the... Uh, I did mention the war where, where werewolves were killing humans. There was also a war of rage where they're killing all the other lycanthropes. There's been a lot of mistakes. Mistakes were made by the Guru Nations. Nation, I guess. Singular. Um, but that completes this list. Now to inform you of what auspices are like. Um, these behave, behave more like character classes like in D&D a bit. So in prior editions, it was the moon you were born under assigned to you your auspice, give or take. Um, in this edition, they mentioned it'll probably be the moon that you have your first change when you first turn into a werewolf. They want the first change to happen to adults only, basically. Uh, you can make some exceptions for that for like interesting story plots. Um, but they want to keep this a story for adults by adults. Um, adults being like 18 plus-ish, I guess. Um, I'm not a, I'm not one of their game developers, so I, I, I don't know the design there. Um, so these, this has changed only a little bit. Uh, it used to be that Renown was tied to your auspice, uh, now it's tied to your tribe. Um, so I said this is like a D&D character class, so basically like Aeron's like the full moon, it's like a warrior, barbarian, kind of, um, Gallard, um, like a bard, but also more like a diplomat. Um, Philodox is interesting. This isn't one that I see a lot of um, in class-based games. It's it's like the judge, the interpreter, the evaluator, um, the mediator. Um, a lot of this is required. It's a very important role in world society because things have to be judged. Did you commit a grievous crime against the, the lenity, the, the, the rules uh, put out by werewolves? Um, did you... Um, there's a, with all the rage that's going on, there's got to be some judgment calls on who's right and who's wrong with certain things. And, to, you know, um, uh, also to calm people down because it's like, oh, you killed their brother. How do we make this right? We can't make it right. How do we make it so that we stop the violence? Um, very important role. So it's, 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 it's turned into a, like basically a character class, but you're like uh, from your first change. Now it's a give or take kind of thing too. So it's not exactly, there's some leeway on what moon, you know, happens to be because i mean you know how the moon it just rotates you know around the earth and the earth's angle depending on the sun and stuff like that it might not be exactly a crescent moon or quite a half moon or the right new moon or something that you, you could be a little off by one or more um then you get the third uh this is the uh the caster the I guess you could say wizard or cleric or druid. Um, it's the one that summon evokes, placates, binds. Those are words that's dealing with the spirits. Your half spirit is the one closest to the spirits. Um, and the ragabash, uh, that would be something like a rogue, some sort of trickster, um, misdirect, they mock, they sneak. Um, so now there's only five. You might think that's low for classes, but if you multiply that by the number of 
tribes. That's a lot of variation. Also, I thought it'd be cool in the future if they did decide to do things like, you know, blood moon or like waning or waxing crescents, you know, stuff like that would kind of be cool. Um, but uh, I don't think they've done that before. Um, not with this game, I don't think. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, speaking of correcting me, let's go into some more conjecture here. This is LinkedIn. Why am I on LinkedIn if I'm talking about werewolves? Because this is uh, the uh, well, excuse me, the World of Darkness team at Paradise Interactive doing a little play test of werewolf. Now, yes, of course they're going to be doing play tests, but if you look closely, there's character sheets here. This is kind of like a little um, little leak. Uh, so there's a, a clave. I believe this is from the year uh, that was mass produced in 1999. Um, so that's from a prior edition that's not a new item um i believe uh it's the same model um it'd be really cool to have one of those i believe i have some friends who do um and it's really cool as a centerpiece now that's not what i'm here to talk about i'm here like wait a second you can see the character sheets in this uh, the shot huh i wonder what would happen if we zoomed in okay let's see what's going on here uh, we've got so glory, honor, wisdom. That's interesting. Now that's above the gifts and rights. Um, I'm wondering if you get gifts or rights from those, and that's why they're in that order there. Also, this bottom here, rage. That's a standard power stat. I don't see um, gnosis or essence here, but what there is is harano. That's the you know depression, loss of will to fight, and hoglosk. I've heard it um, hog lost before, but that looks like a K to me. Hog lost, I think, is a cooler word anyway. So, um, and, but if you notice, they're on the other side of each other. There's nothing in the middle. So, like, depression to rage. So I'm wondering if this is basically the new humanity chart for werewolves, which is kind of a cool idea. That it's actually part of the part of the power here. Let's see what's up here, too. Let's see, it's this name chronicle set. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what this says. Uh, commune, courage, something with a C. And that looks like maybe a G, I don't know. Auspice, tribe, um, passion, persona, fursona. I'm not sure what that says. Um, fame or form. I think this says pack? I'm not sure. Well, these are more clear down here, Hirano and Hoglosk. Uh, you can check this out and zoom in, and maybe you can figure out what all these say. I can't make out most of the skills. Usually this will be the same as Vampire, but there might be one or two that are a little different. And now, I promised I would tell you what the Rage Project was. I am putting together in Unreal Engine 5, since I'm an Unreal Engine 5 professional, um, basically, uh, it's not a video game. The intent is to roleplay on Twitch, but instead of just showing our faces there and rolling the dice, is to, no, 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 this isn't tabletop simulator. It's actually the opposite of that. We're not looking at a tabletop. I want to show you what's happening in the imagination. But in Unreal Engine 5, if you transform into the werewolf form, uh, the, the Krenos, um, I want to do that uh, live on Twitch, have the, have the person transform in Unreal Engine 5. If they roll the dice and they get like a, a bloody critical or whatever they're going to call it for this game, and they just rage through and tear someone up, I want to animate that with blood and everything. Um, so it's basically... Um, of full visualization try to be as high quality as possible this is going to be experimental this is the rage project i'm going to iterate it i would like to eventually turn this um, through experimentation into something that can be open to the public to have um, perhaps a kickstarter um, or just like beta testing that's out there but i'm going to put together a werewolf w5 world fifth edition game um, actually learn the actual rules and what, what's going on with it um, and I would like to get some top players to help me test this out and if you know some or if that's you uh, drop me a line um, 
So that's it. Now I've let the secret out. That's the Rage Project. It's an experiment with uh, actual play on Twitch. Um, my name is David Tavares. Tell me what you think about werewolves. Have a good day. Bye.